How do you subtract 624 minus 356 using base 10 blocks? In this lesson, you will learn how to subtract within 1,000 by regrouping base 10 blocks. Let's review. Numbers can be shown by breaking them into base 10 blocks. For example, the number 329 can be broken into three hundreds, two tens, or 20, and nine ones. We can also take a number that's been broken down into base 10 blocks already, and we can find the number in written form. Here we see three hundreds, two tens, or 20, and nine ones. When we combine these blocks together, we get the number 329. We can show the same number different ways using base 10 blocks. For example, the number 10 can be shown as one group of 10, or we can break this down into 10 ones. Either way, both of these drawings show 10. We can do the same thing for 100. We can show 100 as one group of 100, or we can break this group of 100 down into 10 groups of 10. 10 groups of 10 is 100. Both of these drawings represent the number 100. Subtract 752 minus 236. First, we need to show 752 with base 10 blocks. We have 700, 5 tens, and two ones. Next, we need to subtract or take away 236. This dotted line will help us as we take away 236 blocks. We always start in the ones column. We need to take away six ones, but that's not possible because we only have two ones available. That's okay. We can get out our hammer and break down one group of 10 into 10 ones. Now we have enough to subtract. Taking away six ones, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, in the tens column, we need to take away three tens. One, two, three. And in the hundreds column, we need to take away two hundreds. One, two. We'll double check that we actually subtracted 236, two hundreds, three tens, or 30, and six ones. Great. Now we can eliminate these base 10 blocks permanently. The number of base 10 blocks we have remaining helps us find our answer. We have five hundreds, one ten, and six ones. We'll combine our base 10 blocks and we find our solution. 752 minus 236 equals 516. A common misunderstanding is forgetting to remove the extra tens or hundreds after breaking them with your hammer. For example, in our last problem, we solved 752 minus 236 by breaking one group of 10 into 10 ones. Now watch what happens when we forget to remove that group of 10. We subtract six ones, three tens, and two hundreds for an answer of five hundreds, two tens, and six ones, which we know is incorrect. Our answer here would be 526. Look what happens when we actually remember to remove that group of 10. Our answer changes. Now we only have one group of 10 in our answer, making our final difference 516. Subtract 548 minus 365. First we'll show 548 in base 10 blocks. Five hundreds, four tens, and eight ones. Next we need to subtract 365 using the dotted line to help us. In the ones column, we need to subtract five because 365 has a five in the ones place. We have enough. One, two, three, four, five. In the tens column, we need to subtract six, but we only have four. 
So we need to get out our hammer and turn one group of 100 into 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Great, now we have enough to subtract. Let's remove 6 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we'll just scooch these over. And in our hundreds column, we need to subtract three hundreds. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred. We'll just double check that we subtracted three hundred sixty-five. Three hundreds, six tens, and five ones. Great. Let's count the number of base ten blocks we have remaining to find our answer. We have one hundred, eight tens, and three ones. We'll combine these base 10 blocks to find our final answer. 548 minus 365 equals 183. Subtract 404 minus 159. First, we'll show 404 in base 10. 4 hundreds, 0 tens, and 4 ones. Next, we'll subtract 159. You may already see the need for our hammer. In the ones column, we should be taking away nine ones, but we don't have enough. So we'll use our hammer. But in the tens column, we don't have any tens to borrow from. So we hop over to the hundreds. We turn one group of 100 into 10 tens. Now we can move our hammer back and borrow so that we have enough ones in our ones column. We turn one group of 10 into 10 ones. And now we can subtract our nines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 ones. Great, in our tens column, we need to subtract 5. And now that we've borrowed from the hundreds, we have more than enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five tens. And we need to subtract one group of 100. We'll double check that we've subtracted 159, 100, 50, 9 before we get rid of them completely. The number of base 10 blocks remaining is our answer. We have two hundreds, four tens, and five ones. So we know that 404 minus 159 equals 245. In this lesson, you have learned how to subtract within 1,000 by regrouping base 10 blocks.